Hello Pisces, you are my finale as always for your 2019 year forecast. Ah, ah, being attacked already. Looks like you're starting out the year with like the ability to manifest because you're coming out of the year where you felt like things were just getting manipulated to the point where there was just no victories, man. It was just crushing your soul some, right? Now, I'm not going to be back to do any more readings until after January 13th or so. But you can send me a request for a personal reading. My email is down below. So is my PayPal in case you want to donate or anything. You know, you can go right ahead and do that if you want. Do this one. Uh, there's a little bit of unhappiness in the second quarter. Um, but yeah, I'll probably be back to do readings afterwards. But I will accept the readings you want, and I'll let you know when I try to get to them. Usually the wait time is like two weeks, so don't get depressed if I don't hit you up any time before that, right? Third quarter, a little bit of like holding your feelings back, because I, I feel like maybe yours is a little twinked, a little aimed and hurt, right? I'm also going to try to get back into doing my drawings, because I did like doing that for my video. And I think my software is working again. I just took a couple sleepless nights to get it done but I think I got it now let's see what this fourth quarter is oh I'll take this one ah look at that you turn into the king of cups upright good be cool beans that's pretty cool taking care of your emotional needs keeping everything focused and on point I like that for the fourth quarter you're getting somewhere with yourself Pisces and that's always a good thing it always seems like someone's trying to mess with you when it comes down to it, it's ridiculous, you know? But this first quarter, we got someone acting like the magician manifesting, possibly with a king of coins reverse. Like they can manifest, but they just aren't delivering anything. Which is just like, what? <laughs> like, what's the point then? <laughs> what's the point of doing thing? Like, maybe you're too busy manifesting awesomeness because, like, you're manifesting all. Like, you're too busy. Do whatever it is you do to deliver any sort of message to anybody, and it's kind of delayed for right now. But I do feel like it is going to eventually get delivered. Like, maybe you're also changing how you project yourself and what you're offering as well to the world. And maybe you're going off more to learn with the page of coins upright. So, like, maybe you're not getting to where you need to go because you're too busy trying to be a student at this point and develop your skills. As That's why your main focus is manifesting for the first quarter of the year. What is the second quarter of the year, my dear, dear Pisces? Ah, the devil reversed. Coming out of bondage, maybe? Or is there a situation that you've kind of created? Um, and you're feeling a little bit stuck with that for the second quarter of the year. Um, there might be some vibration that isn't working with you. And maybe you realize that and it kept you stuck and now you're trying to find a way to get unstuck. Like, I mean, there's a lack of action, but it doesn't mean it won't happen. And now here you are, possibly... Feeling as though you don't want to be emotionally open could also be a Cancer or a Scorpio as well who isn't showing their emotions. When it comes to how they feel in a relationship or maybe even a relationship that they possibly want to be in. They might be holding back that. Yeah. They're definitely interested in this relationship, but they're just not saying anything. They want it to happen. They want the partnership for sure during the third quarter of the year. And for this fourth quarter, where they become the king of cups, I feel. Also Scorpio, also Cancer. Because um, a crazy, crazy storm with colorful eyeballs came in and just zapped everything. Oh my god, that is terrifying. Like, I don't look at these cards very often, so it was just kind of like, oh, I didn't realize it looked like that. It's been a while, but yeah, like, the tower is like, there's this eye just looking over everything, and disaster is just overwhelming it. It is forceful, draconian. It's like, this is the order it shall be. So saith the universe. It's coming into, like, clear shit on a very, very dramatic level, if it has to. 
Maybe this King of Cups has seen some shit. And now they want to be a nurturer, a lover, with the Empress. And this deck, for some reason, is Virgo, even though it's actually supposed to be, like, a female Aries. But whatever. I go with it. But yeah, she is very, um, diligent with her power. And you are coming into 2019 as the Queen of Swords, being decisive and trying to figure out who and what you should invite. Watching your criticisms very carefully to be correct in them. You want to be diligent. For the first quarter, your lessons to learn is that maybe some relationships aren't meant to be continued. As you see down here. Or maybe that's how you feel about the situation right now. You, like, you feel like you can't deliver this message because you're too busy dealing with other things. Trying to become the magician and master your skills at a novice level. And for the second quarter of the year, we have a lack of movement still with the Knight of Wands going into the future. Because he's reversed. <clears throat> he's just stuck around. Like Maybe there is a breakup over here because of all of this. And now you don't know where you're going with it. There's a little bit of a betrayal with this third quarter. Brokenness. Endings that were harsh. Cutting. Someone's really chipped up about this because I think they really did uh, want this relationship some. But still, there's no emotion being given. With the... Um, Knight of Cups reversed. Could also be a Scorpio or a Cancer, my dear Pisces, you're dealing with. You're going into 2018. I think giving up a fight. You feel like it's not even worth it. There's not enough energy put into this anymore, I feel like. You find at the end of 2019, going into 2020, you're just kind of done with it you it's like there there's nothing happening you miss this so much you want this and it just isn't coming your way and there's still no giving of emotion in the end to like bring this all to a halt so i think you're just gonna stop giving into it whatsoever what i think is the healthiest choice pisces so i will see you guys after january 13th i can't remember if i told you guys this already or not um, but yeah, I'll be gone January, well, not the 19th, the 13th. That's when I'm coming back, because I'll be on vacation. Well, I'm taking the holiday, aka not doing shit like I want to. <laughs> um, but I will definitely um, see you guys after that. And I hope that you guys have a good New Year's. Bye-bye.